Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today in Legends Rewritten, I'm going to be going over the best current gear setups and magic setups because they kind of have changed in the last week or so. So magic wise, we're going to go over if you only have the two magics. So if you only have two magics, I'd recommend Gum and in Gum, you're going to want to use Gatling Gun and Gum Bazooka and then also the gear 2 spec. And then also you're going to want Dark Magic and in Dark Magic, you're going to use Liberation. Dark Magic comes from Marine Forward Raid and then Gum Magic comes from Mimic Chess Around the World 2 map. So the reason why you're using these is because they just do a stupid amount of damage, they don't cost too much mana, and the cooldowns aren't too bad at all. And then the blessing you're going to want to use is, of course, Conquered Hockey. Conquered Hockey is the best blessing in the game, there's no question. Regular Hockey does work if you can't get the Conqueror's version. So the Conqueror's version, basically, if you use it, you get a damage buff, and then its V attack is going to stun enemies. This is so useful for fighting bosses. And then your spec, obviously what it's going to do is just give you a damage buff for a short amount of time without draining your mana or stamina like Super Saiyan does. So it's very, very powerful spec. Now your authority, there's only one in the game right now. You're always going to want greed. Greed comes from Regulus. Basically, if you're getting shot at by projectiles or magic attacks and you have the greed authority selected, they will be negated and do no damage to you. It's pretty effective in the Marine Ford raid. And also you do a small magic attack that Regulus does if you click with it. Now, if you have the three magics game pass, you can use Esper's Meteor Strike instead of Gum Bazooka. This is also a very, very good, very, very powerful move. And if you happen to have the straw hat like i do i highly recommend using gum bazooka over this instead because straw hat makes gum magic do 50 percent more damage however you absolutely do not need straw hat to make gum magic effective it just makes it even better so let's get into the weapons now so the weapons there are two that come to mind so one of them is going to be the new mech cannon that you can craft in the blacksmith area so the mech cannon is very good because you can charge its main long range attack for a very long time i think it's about 12 seconds Basically, you just hold down your mouse until it lets go for you and does that. So as you guys can see, after firing the beam, I can still move around. As long as an enemy is within this beam, they're going to be taking a lot of damage. And then while the beam's firing, I can move around and use all of my other attacks. It's very, very effective. Also, it has a V attack on the weapon that shoots this like chain grappling attack. If it grabs onto an enemy, it does a good amount of damage twice. It's very, very effective and a lot of fun to use. However, I will say Master Blade, in my opinion, is still the best overall weapon in the game right now. Master Blade is going to be coming from the Master Swordsman on the first day of fall in the Hawkeye Coliseum. So this weapon's M1 combo is absolutely crazy, and its V attack is also absolutely crazy. The only downside about this is it's very hard to get, and the other downside is it isn't very long range. But other than that, it is still pretty much the best weapon in the game. Now another option is the Cosmic Katana. This isn't as good as the other two mentioned, but it's still a great weapon. This also comes from Crafting in the Blacksmith. Its V attack is very, very good. It's like a much better version of Sakura. And basically what it does is it slashes out twice, dealing a ton of magic damage to enemies nearby. And then the last weapon I'm going to mention is going to be the Ope Katana. I don't have Ope learned right now, so it won't be doing the V attack that summons the room. And I also made a video yesterday all about the Ope artifact. But if you have the Ope artifact learned, the Ope Katana is definitely going to be the best weapon for you. So anyways, guys, let's get into the gear now. So for the gear, the best helmet in the game is going to be the Rotten Knight helmet. It gives 1,200 HP, 500 mana. It's cracked. The best chest piece is the Rotten Knight plate. It gives 1,900 HP and 650 mana. It's also very, very good. The best pants are still the Hawkeye pants. They give 1,000 HP and 750 mana. So the Rotten Knight chest piece and Rotten Knight helmet can both be crafted in the Blacksmith. And then the Hawkeye pants comes from the Master Swordsman on the first day of fall at the Hawkeye Coliseum. So none of those gear items changed from being the best from the past, however, there is a new best cape. The Ope Cape got buffed recently, and now it is the best cape in the game. Gives 700 HP and 650 mana, which is insanely good, and the Ope Cape comes from Law on the island I'm standing on on the first day of summer. So that is going to be your best overall gear setup. Now, if you have the vanity thing unlocked, you bought that game pass and you do happen to have the straw hat. As long as you have the straw hat in your vanity section, you are going to be getting that more damage on your gum magic. You don't have to use the straw hats for its stats. Anyways, guys, that is my video going over what I think is the best magic setups, best gear setups, best weapons and all that stuff within Legends Rewritten. Leave a like if this video helped you out and if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye!